Okay, and you can see on the other side of here we have uh, a similar piece, but it's a little bit different. Uh, looks like it has kind of an oval pad. Okay, and I think these probably uh, turn so that they can hold the door shut. Okay, so we'll just maybe modify our hinge on this side slightly to make that piece. Okay, so let's just select one here. Okay, and in the top view. Let's just do a shift drag of that over on the X to the other side. And we'll choose copy and OK. And then we'll just rotate that 180 degrees. OK. All right, and we'll just position this in the same uh, way. OK, just put that plate against the upper piece here. Like that. And let's see. Let's go into the front view maybe. And I'm going to ungroup this. Right. And let's grab the bottom pieces here. Right. And let's just pull these down a little bit to put a space in there. Okay. And in the top view, let's go back into shapes. Grab another rectangle. Okay, and let's just drag one out here. We'll do this a little bit bigger. Maybe something like that. Okay, and we'll try to line it up. Oops. Okay, we'll just center it on this bolt here as close as we can. Right. Let's also move it down in the front view. Okay, let's put it in there in the gap. Right, and let's convert this to edible spline. And we'll do the same thing here. Let's go grab the four verts and just fillet those. Okay, and I'm just going to do it something like that. All right. And then we'll shell it. Okay. And we'll just take the outer mount up a little bit until it touches the surface. Let's do about 0.35. Okay. And then we'll convert this to edible poly. And we'll go into edge. Let's just select the bottom edges here. Oops. Okay, we'll just deselect the sides. Okay, just like that. And then we'll just chamfer that down a little bit. Okay, let's do maybe 0 0.04 on that and OK. And I think that should be good enough. Um, pretty simple, but we don't have a lot of time, so. Let's go over here to our uh, cylinder. Okay, and let's see. Let's go into wireframe here. All right, we'll drop back down into uh, polygon. Turn on ignore back facing. All right, we'll just select the top polygons on the inside here in the center. Okay, and we'll just extrude those up through the uh, hinge piece there into the base. Okay, and we can bring this down a bit. All right, just so it doesn't look like it's just floating in the air. Right, and you can put a little more detail into this stuff if you uh, want to modify it uh, slightly to make it look a little better. Okay, so because of time constraints, I'm just going to move on. Okay, so let's select this piece. And let's just name that something like hinge pad or something. Okay, and we'll change the color to black. And let's throw the gray shader on there. Okay, and I think that looks okay for a quick uh, version. Okay, so let's select these pieces again. Let's do this in the front view. Okay, so I'm just going to select all these pieces and these two, right? And we'll do another group on this. We'll just call that hinge pad and okay. And let's center its pivot point. And then we'll just make some quick copies. Okay, so let's Hold shift, whoops. Okay, we'll drag another one down here. And then we'll just do a couple on this door as well. Okay, just like that. And take your time when you're doing this, you don't have to rush it like I am. 
Okay, so that'll give the base a little bit more detail and it'll look a little more finished. Okay, so let's unhide all. Okay. Okay, so let's try to get some kind of handle on these. So I'm just going to select the door here at the front. Okay, and then we'll just hide on select it. Okay, and we'll hit Z to zoom in on it. Okay, and let's just do this quickly from the top view. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in around the center hole here. And let's just go into the crate panel and uh, we could probably do this out of a plane. Okay, so let's just drag that out. Okay. Right, and we'll also right click the move tool and center it on the X. And OK. And let's see, let's do maybe three. And let's do maybe 13 or so for the length. OK. And then we'll take off the segments. So we just have one each way. OK, and we'll convert this to edible poly. Let's go into edge. And we'll select the side edge here on the right side. Let's just hold shift and we'll just drag that out a bit. Okay. And let's see, let's move this down into position. Okay, so let's put it underneath the door there. Right. And let's go into vertex here. We'll just grab the inverts there. We'll just move this up. Okay. Something like that, maybe. And then we'll go back to the top view. And let's just do a couple more shift drags here on the end. Okay, so I'll drag it out again. Let's do something like that, maybe. And then we'll do a smaller one and another one. Okay. Okay, so just like this. And let's go in here. We'll zoom in. Let's go to scale. We'll grab the four inverts. Let's just scale those in a bit. Then we'll grab the the last two and we'll scale it in more on the Y. All right, just around the end over a little bit. Okay, this is a pretty quick uh, job for this. You could take your time and do a better one. All right, so let's go to edge. We'll grab this edge here on the bend. Okay, and let's do a chamfer on that. I'll take this down a bit. Let's do maybe 0.5 and apply and. Let's do 0.25 for the second one, and OK. Let's grab this one over here, and we'll chamfer that one. And let's just do maybe 0.2 on that, and OK. OK, so that's what we have. I know it's a little hard to see with the uh, lighting, OK. All right, and then we'll select the two middle edges and do another connect, and we'll just do that one segment with no pinch and no slide. Okay, and then we'll grab the left verts here and delete them. And then we'll get out of vertex and we'll just do a mirror with a copy on the X. And OK. Let's just move this over and line up the edges. And then we'll attach it to the first piece. And just select the four verts in the middle and we'll just hit weld. Okay, and point one should be enough to weld them. Okay, so just like that. Alright. Then we'll get out of vertex and let's put a shell on here. Okay, and let's take this down a bit. Let's do maybe 0.4 or so for the uh, outer amount. Right, and then I'm just going to go into isolation mode with Alt Q. Okay, and we'll right click and convert this to edible pulley. Let's go into edge and see if we can do a loop on these. Let's select this edge here and do a ring. Okay, and then we'll do a loop. Right, and it won't select the last two edges on each side, so let's just select these two by hand. Okay, and the two at the other end. Right, so just the outlines of the top and bottom. Okay, and then we'll just chamfer again, and we'll do this a tiny amount. Okay, let's do maybe 0 0.6, 0.06. And OK. Right. OK, and it looks a little rough. Uh, we could use a smooth modifier on this. Actually, we might even build a turbo smooth it. Let's try that. OK, and let's try two. OK. 
All right, and that actually looks like it's holding the shape pretty well. All right, so let's exit isolation mode. Okay, and I think that's about the right size. All right, let's name it. We'll call it uh, door handle. Okay, let's actually put barrel door handle. Okay, and let's change the color to black. And we'll throw the gray shader on there. Okay, and let's also move it up so it's touching the surface like that. Okay, and we'll try to center it on the holes just by eye. Okay. Let's uh, right click and unhide all. And we'll just see if we can judge the size and see if it looks about right. Okay, I think that's probably fine. Um, if you want to, if you want to adjust a little more, uh, you can take your time and get a better one. But uh, I think that's okay for now. So we'll just clone this along to each door. And before we do that, let's actually maybe steal one of these little bolts up here. Okay, so I'm going to select that group and we'll ungroup it. Okay, and then we'll just select one of the little bolts there. And in the top view, we'll just hold down shift and we'll just drag a clone over to our handle. Okay. And choose copy. All right. And let's see. Let's scale that up a little bit. Maybe something like that. All right. And we'll just put it on the end tab here. Okay. And we'll just try to center it as best we can. And that looks pretty good right there. Okay, maybe just like that. All right, and we'll just clone it over to the other side of the handle. Okay, and we'll line it up the same way. Okay, just like that. Okay, now I'll just make it look a little bit more finished than just uh, hanging there. Okay, so let's select both those bolts and the handle. Okay, and then we'll go into the top view here. And let me actually hide some of this stuff so uh, we can see a little easier. Okay, so let's just group this as handle. Okay, and then I'm just going to select the bottom part of the barrel here, and then we'll hide unselect it. Okay, so we just have the uh, bottom piece. Okay, and we'll select the handle group. And let's see. Let's put one down around the center of the second door and uh, one on the third door. Okay, so we'll clone this down and let's put this between these two maybe. Could actually probably put it right over the uh, handhold there. Let's see how that looks. Let's actually move it down. Be right there. And let's do another one over here. And I think I'll just leave that one in a little bit from the uh, front edge. Okay. Let's actually give this another clone maybe just to give it a little more detail. Okay, so just like that. All right. Okay, so let's just unhide all. Okay, and we need to put a few bolts in here as well. But let's go over onto the uh, leg here. We'll select one of our bolts over there. Okay. And I'm just going to uh, hold shift into a clone of that in the front view. Okay. And let's see. Let's, uh, with that bolt selected, let's just select the bottom of the barrel again. Okay. And then we'll hide unselect it. Okay. And we'll select our bolt here. Okay, and let's move it up here onto this little piece of flashing that we uh, pulled out of that side piece. Let's move it in here. Right, and it's too big right now, so let's scale it down. So let's just go into the left view here and we'll just scale that a bit. Okay, and let's rotate it slightly. Okay, we could probably take it down a little bit more than that. 
Let's see, let's put it right against the side in the uh, front view. Okay, so let's push that in there and just make sure it's touching. Okay, just like that. And I think that's okay for the size, so let's see, let's, let's hold shift and let's just pull that over a bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to do a bunch of copies and we'll just delete any extra ones. So let's do like 15 and okay. And we got it pretty close to the end there. Let's just uh, maybe delete that last guy. And I'm just going to select all the bolts in the front view. And I'm just going to move them down to the right just to even that out a bit. Okay, just like that. Right. And let's put a couple on the back piece here. Okay, so let's select this first guy. And in the top view, let's uh, shift drag another copy back. And we'll rotate that 90 degrees this way. We'll just push it in here. Right. Right, just against the surface. Okay. And in the front view here, let's just do a couple copies. Okay. And I apologize for the raspy voice that I have a, a bit of a cold. Okay, so let's just copy that over there maybe. Okay, and we could probably put a couple on the side here as well. So let's do another copy over here. And let's scale this one down a little bit. Okay, and we'll rotate it slightly. Alright, let's move that up to the top maybe. And we'll just try to center it on the, this piece here. Okay, and then we'll do maybe two copies of that one. Alright, just like that. Let's see. Let's delete this one here that's inside the uh, piece. Just make sure nothing's intersecting like that. Okay, and you can see we have a couple bolts on the uh, side piece here. Um, so let's maybe throw that in there. Let's grab this guy. And in the top view, let's just uh, shift drag him down and rotate him again. We'll just put him on the side here. And we could probably scale this one a little bit bigger just to make it look a little different. Maybe like that. Okay, and let's rotate that a bit. Okay, and we'll move them down. Okay, let's just do two of those maybe. And okay. Let's just rotate that a little bit different. Okay. So just like that. And we could probably put a couple on the back as well. Okay, so in the front view here. We'll just shift drag those again and then rotate them 180. Okay, and we'll just put them against the back. Okay, like that. Let's just grab one of these ones here. And we'll do another shift drag in the top view. Okay. And we'll just rotate that 90 degrees this way. Okay, and we'll just put this maybe on the side down here. All right, just push that in a bit. Okay, let's move that down. Let's put a couple of random ones here. All right, so let's do a couple of copies here. And let's do one over here maybe. And let's do maybe two more. Okay, and I'm just going to put one down here. Like that, maybe. All right, just to give the blank side a little bit more detail. All right. And I think that looks uh, probably good enough. And I don't think we'll put this little flashing piece in around the, this part just because we don't have enough time to do that. Okay, so 
think that looks pretty good. Let's go into the front view here. Okay, and let's select that side piece, this one. Select that box piece as well. And uh, let's go into this. Okay, let's get all the bolts in here. Okay. And we'll deselect that piece. Okay. Okay, so just all those pieces, all the bolts we just did, as well as this piece and this box piece. Okay, and we haven't cloned the sword to the other side yet, so let's do that now. And I'm just going to group this, right, just to make sure nothing comes out of position. And we'll just name that something like 1 for now. Let's center its pivot point. Okay, turn that off. And we'll do a mirror. Uh, another copy on the X. Okay. And then we'll right-click the Move tool, and we'll just take the negative sign out of the x-axis and hit Enter. And we'll close that, and that should copy it onto the other side perfectly. Okay, and just check to make sure that it's uh, lined up the right way. Alright, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I think that'll probably be all we'll be able to do for the, uh, the base. Uh, I'm not going to have time to add in uh, these ropes and uh, any of these other little details, but... Um, you can go ahead and just uh, put some additional pieces around um, on yours. So let's right click M1, hide all. Okay. And let's get some of the details onto the legs here, the last ones. Uh, we have these brackets here and a few different kinds of handles. Actually, these are pretty much uh, identical. But I think we'll start working on this piece here that's uh, got a few different copies of it. Okay. And I think the easiest way for us to build this would probably just be out of a spline. Okay, so let's go back into Max here. And let's select the two pieces of this leg. Okay, and we'll just hide it, unselect it. Okay. Right, and we'll go into the left view here. We'll zoom in on the bottom. Now let's go into Shapes, and we'll grab a circle. Okay, I'm just going to drag that out. Okay. Right, and let's give that a radius of maybe uh, 7. And then we'll uh, hold shift and just scale another copy on the inside. Okay, and let's take that down a little bit more. Okay. Let's see. Let's convert this to edible spline as well as the outside one. Okay, and then we'll go into uh, segment here. Let's delete these back segments. All right, and then we'll go into and grab a line. Okay, and we pretty much just had to give this a square back. So we'll start here. We'll go back. Okay, and you can hold shift to snap that straight. Okay, and then we'll come down and across. Just get that lined up. Right, and then right click to end, and we'll go into vertex here, and we'll just move these down a little bit, and let's attach them all together. Okay, and we'll just weld these verts here. Okay, so just up the weld a little bit, and weld those as well as these two here. Right, let's put a shell on here. Okay, and let's go up on the outer amount. Let's see. Let's move this back. Right. And let's give it maybe a radius of maybe four. Okay. And we'll right click and convert this to edible poly. Let's go into edge. I'll just grab all of the edges, okay? And in the top view here, we'll just hold Alt and deselect the center ones on the circle as well as the uh, curved piece on the front, okay? And then we'll hold Alt again and deselect these uh, lines on the sides, okay? Let's just chamfer this down a bit. Okay, we'll bring this down a bit. 
let's do maybe 0.35 and hit apply and do a double. Okay, and we'll do 0.15 on the second one and OK. Right, and in the front view here, let's zoom in. Okay, and you can see we have kind of a plate on the back, uh, as well as a couple other little details here. So let's just grab a box. Okay, and we'll drag that out over top. Okay, and we'll make it something like that. Right, let's just push it over a bit. Grab our piece here and let's just line it up on this side. Okay. Let's grab our box there. Let's move this into position as well. So let's pull that out so it's sitting against the leg. Right, we can probably get that a little bit more thickness. Let's do 0.8. Let's we'll move that back slightly. Let's convert that to edible poly. Go into edge. Let's grab, actually, let's go into polygon. And we'll go into wireframe. We'll just select the back poly and delete it. Then we'll go into edge and do control A. All right, we'll just chamfer this down slightly. All right, maybe about 0.1 and OK. Then we'll grab our main piece here and we can just push that back until it intersects. Okay, just like that. And let's see. Let's go into vertex for the box. Let me change the color of this. Okay, let's select our box and we'll go into vertex and let's just pull this over a little bit so it's not so long. Okay. Okay, just like that. And then we'll uh, go into polygon, select the front polygon, do an inset. Okay, we'll bring that down. Let's do one and a half and OK. And then we'll go into uh, vertex. OK, and we'll select these two verts here on the side and we'll just pull those over. OK, something like that. And we'll go back into polygon. That poly should still be selected there. OK, so we'll just extrude this out a little bit. Maybe something like one and a half and OK. And let's see, let's do another ins inset. Bring that up a little bit. Do about 0.5 on that and OK. And I think we'll just bring it out maybe a little bit more. Let's do 0.5 again on the extrude and OK. All right, and then we'll go into isolation mode with Alt Q. And let's just go into edge and in the front, we'll just select all the edges on that extrude. Okay, and we'll deselect these ones here. Right, so we just have the ones around this section. And let's just chamfer that down. Okay, we'll do it pretty tight. Let's do about 0 0.07 and OK. All right, and then we'll exit isolation mode. All right, and let's go into the display panel again, and we'll hit unhide by name. Okay, and let's just find one of our leg bolts here. So we'll do door bolt 01. Okay, and that should be up here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so we'll select that guy. And in the top view, we'll just shift drag a copy over here. Right, and let's just rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, and we'll just push it into that extrude, right, and try to center it on the piece. Okay, just like that, and we can move it down, right? And let me change the color of this just in case uh, it's hard to see. Okay, All right, so select our bolt here and let's just put it up at the top. And we'll just clone it down, right? And we'll do two copies, and okay. And then we can just center these three bolts on this piece. Okay, just like that, and we'll just rotate them slightly. Okay, just a little bit of random rotation. All right. All right, so I think that's detailed enough for that uh, piece. Let's select both these other pieces here. 
we'll just change the color to black. Okay, we'll put the uh, shader on there. Right, and let's see. Let's deselect the post. Okay, so we only have these uh, objects selected. Okay, and let's group them. And we'll just name that something like leg hitch or something. And okay. And let's unhide all and just make sure that the size is in proportion to everything else. I think that's pretty close. All right, so let's select it there. We'll just move it up a little bit. And you can see we also have one up here at the starting of this hip. Okay, so in the left view, we'll just drag a copy up here and OK. And we'll just push that into the side of the leg. Just like that. All right. And just to make it look a little less uniform, I'm just going to move it in or out slightly, okay, just so they're not perfectly lined up vertically. Alright. Okay, so let's go into the hierarchy tab and we'll center its pivot point. And we need to have a copy of this on the other side, so let's go into the top view. And let's do a mirror. Okay, and we'll do a copy on the Y. And OK. And then we'll right click on the move tool and we'll take the negative sign out of the Y and hit enter and see if that lines it up for us. Okay, so we'll come around here and just make sure that's lined up the right way. Okay, and I'm just going to push it back just a little bit. And we'll do the same thing with this one over here. Let's center its pivot point. And in the top view, we'll do a mirror. And copy on the Y. Okay, and then we'll take the negative sign out and hit enter. Right. And that looks like it's lined up pretty good. Okay, and now we need to get these four onto the other leg, so let's go into the top view again. Let's hit mirror, and we'll do a copy on the X, and OK. Then we'll do the same thing here. And we'll do that for each of these. Okay, so let's select the upper one there. Mirror, copy on X. Okay, and then Take the negative sign of the X, hit enter, and around the side here, select the bottom one, and mirror, okay, and finally this top one up here, okay, take that out and enter. All right, we'll just make sure that everything's lined up on both sides evenly. Okay, so that looks pretty good. The next thing we'll do is just uh, do some kind of handle for these ones.